I need to create some hydraulic tube routes uh, on this assembly that I have, but I'd like to control the tubing as well as the position of any uh, components associated with that tubing. I want to control that all by w from one sketch. So let's go into the layout sketch that I've already started. And you can see that I've constructed some sketch geometry on this plane. And I've positioned it uh, either by placing dimensions between sketch elements or between sketch elements and geometry of the adjacent components. So I can use that to kind of position my hydro what will later become my hydraulic lines. Notice also that I've started to uh, place some components on here in a 2D form. And the way I've done that is I've used a tool called um, Component Structure Editor. And what this allows us to do is it allows you to browse components and drag them into your assembly as virtual components. And then what you're able to do is you're able to grab those virtual components and pull them into your sketch and then position them as 2D blocks, kind of like you would in AutoCAD. So let's drop this clamp mechanism that I've got here. And then what I'll do is I'll use 2D sketch geometry to further position that relative to my um, sketch line that's going to be my tube routes. Notice that depending on how my sketch is constrained, it'll pull the sketch into place to accommodate the size of the component that I've brought in there. Let's grab another one of those clamps and position it down here. And again, I'm going to use that sketch connect relationship to position everything. Up here, I want to add some fittings, and I've already got them in as virtual components, so I'll drag that in. And I'll be prompted to pick my um, view. And then I can use the A or the Z keys to kind of rotate that. So I'll drag those two into position here. And then again, use those sketch relationships. And you know, the benefit of using 2D relationships uh, to position components is it's a lot more straightforward. You don't have to struggle with 3D. So that's coming together. The last thing I want to add is this manifold that I have down here. And it's going to go at the end of my line. So I'll pick that top view and drop it in there. And then use the sketch relationships to position it. If I want another manifold and it's not in my tree, all I have to do is grab that existing block of data and then holding down control, just drag it to another component. And what that's going to do is that'll create another instance of the same component. And you'll see it'll add it to my uh, parts list. And then maybe on this one, I'll position it relative to some geometry that's already in our assembly. Okay, so let's say that completes my layout. I'm going to exit out of the sketch, the layout sketch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish my virtual components. And what that's going to do is that's going to retrieve the 3D data that's associated with these 2D blocks and put some actual real parts in there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Express Route and we're going to turn that 2D uh, or that sketch geometry into hydraulic tubes. So I've already got my tube um, width and bend diameters specified. So I'll just drop those in after I pick that sketch data. So there's one. And let's put one more in there. Now because I want my layout sketch to define the placement of these clamps and manifolds that I've placed in, what I'm going to need to do is establish some assembly relationships between the 3D geometry and my tube routes. And the easiest way to do that is with a command called Assembly Relationship Assistant. Basically this allows you to select uh, a series of parts. So I'll just go down the list of those components that I added. And then I can select the tubes that I want to create assembly relationships with. And what that'll do is it'll allow me to pick my assembly relationship type. And when I process it, it'll create axial alignments between those components and all of my tube components. What this now means is if I were to go back into my layout sketch and establish some, geom some uh, dimensions, if I were to change those dimensions, uh, let's say, make that 8, and then exit out of my sketch, you'll see that my components will, the position of my components as well as my tube lengths will update. 